you guys rather have somebody, I guess, like hand somebody an album or hand somebody a ticket to like be introduced to you guys? Either or, you know. Um, I like people not knowing anything about us and then seeing us play live. I'm just getting their expressions or, you know, their reactions because if they get really offended, <laughs> you know, job well done. Cool. If they get into it, you know, even better. Cool. Um, so, I guess for that matter, do you guys consider yourself more of a studio or a stage band? I think we're both, you know. It's, it, we, we don't try to conceive of them as the same thing. You know, we, we don't necessarily try to do our live show on the record. Because there's things on an album you can get away with that you just can't live. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you could if you had a bottomless pocketbook. But, uh, you know, we, we want them to exist in their own rights. Because, you know, mo more people probably hear our records than ever see us play live. Mm -hmm. So we do want them to be, a, a, you know, a record of who we are. Speaking of your record, I, I read uh, with, at an, on an interview that you did that, uh, for instance, for like Mr. Young Stuffed, you mm -hmm. had like, uh, you tried to get the sound of a, uh, like an overstuffed ATM machine. And I like, I read that, listened to the song and I'm like, perfect, like got it, done. Um, and then I listened to the rest of Rabbit Habits and I could tell that you probably have like the same, like um, the same outlook, maybe not an overstuffed ATM machine, but the same outlook as far as like how you compose your songs or how you get like a feel for your songs. Is there any like other songs that you've written that, um, that you feel you kind of have like an idea at or like you have a sound that you're going for and you just try to either like emulate that sound or? Believe it or not, most of the time the songs just kind of happen as is mm -hmm. you know it, it i wish that i had the the know-how how to set out to write a certain kind of song or sound but the song just kind of comes together naturally or organically and it might be why everything feels kind of schizophrenic at times just like uh, stu yeah. just stuff that just stuff that's like fun to say just like All stuff right. that like rolls off the tongue and it's like great one. to like sing on um uh, Quag's Playhouse, uh, yeah, yeah. I just like that entire, the background vocals on that entire song are just like the epitome, I guess, of what I'm talking about. Um, I just like, it's just, it's just fun. Um, what's... Well, see, like, for, yeah. for example, for like uh -huh. that song, like, I'll get an idea in my head where, like, I always wanted to hear the vocals that reminded me of the scene from Joe vs. the Volcano when he's, he's on the raft and he's shipwrecked and he just, he's just dancing around. He's out of his mind, you just see the moon, and I was like, in my head, that's what the backing vocals remind me of. You know, they never will for anyone else. <laughs> but that, unfortunately, when I have to relate these ideas to people in the band, who are all very musical, sometimes they get it, sometimes they're just annoyed. You guys sound like you belong on a carnival. If if you were to be any carnival act, what would you be? Live, sh live shows like the tie wire rope, you know? Everything's balancing on each other, and we all have to rely on each other in order for songs to come across live, all the transitions and changes. Hmm. It seems chaotic, and but you know there there is a there's a math to the chaos we have on stage. If we could just go up there and just bang shit and act crazy, if that's all it took, then I should have done that years ago. You guys have like progressively got a more pop, not pop poppy, but. Um, less like, abrasive. Through, like less abrasive of the course of your like three albums, but I think you're still a noisy band. You know, it's it's one of these so, things. Yeah. Like, no, it's one of these things where it's like I, I don't mind being the kind of band that we can get invited to the girl's house to meet the parents, mm -hmm. but I still like the parents to question the girl's choices. You know. Yeah. And if, if that if, if that's the kind of band that we are, that's the kind of band that we are, and I don't ever want to lose that. You know. Don't ever want to get too tame with that stuff. Okay. Um. So. But I. But I do. It's like there is an urge to just fight the abrasiveness because I just. I just love it. You know. I. I just love being noisy and just being raucous. <laughs> but I think, if anything, with the records, we've gotten better at figuring out where to put it so it's more effective than it just being like all over the place. Uh that's a, that's exactly how I feel. That was the question I was gonna ask. Like you've gone from a lot like more just like like loud, just kind of like interspersed noise to add, like using the noise as like a tool to write better songs. In all honesty, it's like it's a lot more um, like focused. focused. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, I, I this is the only band that I've ever been in, uh -huh. so I'm start learning how to write songs. So 
So above anything, whether you're a piano player, a singer, or whatever, you're a, you're a songwriter. Yeah. And do you write most, like, the predominance of the music that you guys play? Well, I, I mean, I write all the lyrics. Okay. So the songs, it's unfortunately, uh, we, we, on the last, the last record and this new record, you know, we're moving towards where I've been trying to write lyrics to, to, to music that the whole band writes. Mm -hmm. But generally, my crutch as a songwriter is that I can't really write the music and the words separately. They kind of have to happen at the same time, which makes things not be very prolific. Mm -hmm. But, you know. But and also, I have to sing a song to myself like 300 times or something. To just like get it all in your head and just to get, like... To get it feeling right. Okay. Which can drive people crazy. Absolutely crazy. Your songs are kind of uh, like segment, like they have movements. Do you try to stray away from the general, like the general, um, like modus operandi of songwriting, or do you, um, or is it intentional? Or like, well, I, up up until uh, just up until recently, I, I just I still don't. I'm still I'm starting to understand how to write a song per se, mm -hmm. but I I feel like if you don't really know how to write songs. I think you'll probably, you might write more interesting songs than people who do. Because I didn't go to school for music or anything. Yeah. The people that I knew that did never made interesting music. And so if, when I was writing songs, I was like, well, you know, who cares if these two parts don't necessarily make sense? Let me try to connect it somehow. Mm -hmm. It's not that you set out to be weird or be different or strange. It's just, you just got to do it how it feels right to you. Um, this has been Austin. This is Honus Honus of Man Man. Uh, this has been KVRX Austin, and thank you very much for joining us in Austin, Texas. Buy some of these shrubs. Yeah, they're really freaking cool.